We're looking at a Garmin navigation system here. This is the screen you can access by clicking on the radio icon in the upper left corner and holding down. This shows you the satellite constellation that's viewable by the meter. Those channel bars 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 14, 16, and so on indicate signal strength from various GPS satellites. There's currently 31 satellites orbiting the Earth. You can see a graphical depiction of this orbital arrangement to the left of the bars. Um, the accuracy depicted in the top corner is the result of timing calculation. So the GPS satellites broadcast a signal and then the receiver listens for that signal on different channels and using timing signal calculation it triangulates the relative position of the receiver uh, both in respect to elevation and latitude and longitude which is depicted in the upper left corner um, we're doing this in a, a stationary location here on my kitchen table I have a, a 12 volt lead acid battery with a 12 volt auxiliary outlet providing the power and then the OEM Garmin power supply uh, powering the unit itself it's from 2015, so the integral lithium-ion battery is fairly weakened, though we never use it on battery, its internal battery alone. At any rate, when you first boot up one of these Garmin navigation units, um, they are not connected to the internet, they don't broadcast any data, they can work even if the, G if the internet's offline, if the LTE modem's offline, if the cell networks are offline, one of the primary values of having a GPS is that it will work even if the cellular networks are offline during an emergency uh, for navigation. And they also allow for rerouting, though the functionality is not nearly as good as Apple Maps or Google Maps on an Android or uh, iPhone. So it's slower and it's not as good but it provides redundant backup navigation now obviously using your brain to get around makes sense but if you're going somewhere you're unfamiliar with or if you're going to be distracted while navigating having one of these navigation units is great they're relatively affordable i believe this unit was under two hundred dollars it has a relatively good resolution screen, it's touch interface, it's got all kinds of features and functions, it comes with lifetime maps and uh, traffic updates. Um, you have to use a Windows or Mac computer uh, over USB through a mini USB connector to actually download the updates. I tried doing that this morning and Garmin server was offline, possibly due to the COVID-19 virus, uh, global coverage of it, and the uh, loss of tech workers in that sector and shutdowns. That's just speculative. But at any rate, hope you enjoyed looking at this interesting graphical GPS interface. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the bottom in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.